Hello gamers, welcome to another episode of Get Your Game Sense Up. My name is Bios, your annoyed average gamer. And I am Sebastian Nation, uh, the number one Avatar fan, and yes, I am including Cora in that. We're starting all over. Why? And I'm Sebastian Nation, the very next Wu Assassin. And today we are extending our discussion from the last podcast on Overwatch 2, where we actually got some more information on the questions that we asked. And yeah, let's get into it. Uh, one of the things that we know for sure that BIOS insisted on that there won't be competitive in um, Overwatch 2. It looks like Overwatch 2 will not only have competitive, but it'll be a full-fledged game where it'll have both the full PvE and I'm assuming the full PvP that Overwatch 1 has. So I'm assuming it should have the quick play, the competitive, the arcade, the workshops, everything. Should have all of that on top of the PvE story missions and the hero missions, which to me is actually a way more full-fledged product for worth $60, uh, unlike Overwatch 1 was when it just had quick play. Yeah, it was just quick play. It, was, it didn't even launch with arcade or anything. And he's, um, we paid 60 bucks for just quick play. Cause competitive came later, like a month later. So um, I'm very excited to see that. Like, how, how are you feeling now that you know for sure that competitive and all of PvP is in uh, Overwatch 2? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. I'm not feeling good. I, like I said, a lot of Overwatch's problems is because of competitive. As far as the the toxicity and behave bad behavior and stuff like that, and you know. The game just didn't was just not fun. Now it's kind of confusing with them making Overwatch 2 with competitive PvP and PvE story when they're still going to be keeping Overwatch as a PvP competitive thing. It, it, I don't understand why they would do this when they could could have just updated current Overwatch and use like a little window like they do for arcade to go into the pvp pve overwatch like you just have to pay for it and it'll it'll unlock um i don't understand why they're doing it this way it's it's just confusing to me um okay we've talked about this a bit and it's really because of the marketing they want to be able to sell you a new 60 dollar um product for you not to just download but for you like to be able to purchase it like, you know, someone like you who still buys um, physical copies, Overwatch 2 will be on a new physical disc, right? Um, they really want, and th- that number two labeling shows people, hey, this is a brand new game. It's not just an expansion. Like, if they called it Overwatch Omnix Rising, it would have just been like, oh, um, it's just an expansion. And people, and people know Overwatch should be that PvP game. But now Overwatch can open itself to a whole new branch of players that own like PvE. Or they're like, oh, I didn't play Overwatch 1 because I'm not really good at PvP games, but I'll go ahead and try this PvE out. And now that PvE is involved, when you're doing that, like let's say you pick Genji as your main, you're like, oh, I really like Genji in PvE. Let me try him out in PvP, see what's different about him, if I'm any good with him. And hey, guess what? Maybe you're, you're the next greatest Genji player in the world just because you started in PvE. I mean, a perfect example of that is Halo. Like Halo 2 had a fantastic story, but what really put it on the map was its PvP. So I understand what you're saying. Why play Overwatch 1 when, um, like they could have just added into Overwatch 1, but they did it for the branding. And so people can know, hey, this is a new starting point. Exactly what they did for like Destiny and you know, they can just keep up with updating that game, but they want to have that branding so people know where to jump in. Also, um, uh, when it comes to Overwatch 1, a lot of people don't want to play PvE, you know? If you already own Overwatch 1, why would you p- pay um, $40 or $60 to buy Overwatch 2 when you're just going to keep playing what you want to play? And all that stuff in Overwatch 2 when it comes to PvP-wise will still be in Overwatch 1, you know? The biggest um, debate, the biggest question really, let's say it's like you and me, we're both playing on Xbox, we're both playing on PlayStation or whatever platform we play on, right? Uh, If I have Overwatch 2 and you have Overwatch 1, are we able to group up together and go into quick play or something like that? 
I'm not really sure about that because they're supposed to be two different clients, so they share the same lobby. I don't really know how it's gonna work on that front. It but... seems like you could still you can still play with people that are playing Overwatch too. Like yeah, I mean I could yeah I could say I could still play with them, but can I group up with you? Because the front two different clients. That's like saying, oh you're on Halo two and I'm on Halo three. I'm gonna invite you to my game. We'll play a game together. New. No, that's not I mean, that's why. I mean, it should work because Jeff said that the like as far as the like the the engine that they're using, it's not a new engine. It's just an updated engine. So in theory, it still should work because when you make a sequel and when you make a two or a three, I mean, blah blah blah, it's, it's supposed to be what's different. But no, yeah, it's supposed to be like a bigger like like graphically and intensive. Like I don't know. I don't. I'm not, I'm not a game developer. But it's supposed to be different. That's not why you can't play with people. That's not necessarily true, but the thing is, they're on two different clients. They're running on two different browsers, two different platforms. You know, you're not playing Overwatch 2 off of Overwatch 1. You know, which is why I want to know if someone of Overwatch 1 and 2 can still group up together. It's two different things. Or it's like saying, uh, another example would be Destiny. If, you know, if they have the same maps on Destiny 2 and Destiny 1, I can't invite you from Destiny 2 to play a game with me when you're on Destiny 1, you know, even if we're just doing Crucible, you know? So I just want to know how they'll do it. I can imagine, I can see how I can still um, potentially fight you on Destiny 2 versus Destiny 1 if we're in the same lobby, but we're not in the same client, so how would I add you to join my game, you know? So I, I really don't know how they're going to do it. Um, I guess we'll just find out over time. Yeah, if it was an expansion, then definitely, but since it's not, it's supposed to be a whole new, a whole new client, a whole new launcher, you know, so it, it would be different. I want to know how they're going to do that. Uh, they did discuss, oh, so we saw a lot more of the gameplay. Another big thing that I'm really interested in knowing, they're saying <clears throat> okay, in the PvE, we have a lot of the leveling up. Oh, like they have the hero missions and let's see your favorite characters, Zenyatta or whatever. And we saw in the trailer, and, um, for the gameplay trailer, that, you know, we saw a uh, tracer with all the different abilities that you can select or whatnot. Now, I really want to know how much freedom or customization we have with our characters. So, like, in the trailer we saw, which, you know, it's subject, subject to change, because we're going to talk about the release date in a bit, but, um, because who knows what they'll change between now and then. Um, but we saw, like, from level 1 through 20, there were six abilities um, that she could have, whatever, whatever. Now, mm -hmm. I want to know, do you just unlock those abilities as you level up? Or, mm -hmm. like, can I only have two or three of those abilities? Can I really customize how my tracer is versus your tracer? Or, but, or is it once you have all 20 levels, you just have all those abilities and you can use them at any time? I really want to know if I can really build out, you know, not, like, build a whole skill tree, but, like, there's six abilities. Do I get to just use all six before when I'm hit level 20? Or you only pick two of the six or three of the six. So that way you're like, you know, having some like ownership of your character for the hero mission. Because I really want to know if it's, oh, just level up and you get all that stuff. Or no, I'm a Zarya player and she's a Zarya player, but our Zarya's are different. We have different abilities. You know, so yeah, it's it's gonna be where you level up and the, um, you level up and then you could unlock an ability and then the more abilities you unlock, the more you'll be able to customize down the line. So yeah, that way, it, I just don't know if customize means you have all six available to you at all time, like you just play them. Cause, or because you know, look at Destiny, oh. you know how there's, there's the different branches, you yeah. know. Um, you know how in Destiny, let's say we're both playing hunters. I could, we could both play the Void Hunter, right? Um, there's the bow and arrow, but there's also the melee. Um, yeah. Like when you go invisible, that's that's kind of what I'm kind of getting into. But there's also like that, like if we're playing the same exact class and ability and the same character, do I just know what you have just by? Will you have all of um those abilities at once, or can I be like, oh no, this hunter has? They're using the Night Stalker, the bow and arrow. But I'm using the the void um, swords, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to know. Will there be able to? We'll be able to choose. But yes, you have all of it unlocked. But it's like, hey, you have all these six abilities unlocked. You can only use two of them on your character. That way, there's actual customization, you know. 
I'm not even gonna get into like armor customization because I think it'll just be the same way it is now. But like when it comes to uh, building these, can like do you know like an Overwatch one right now? When you want a, an, uh, you know, I'm gonna say Zarya because I'm a Zarya main. So right bumper is I give my own shield and left bumper is I pass the shield down, right for Zarya. Can I customize those two? So let's say right bumper would be give my own shield, but left bumper could be um in um I go to immediate overdrive on my gun, you know. So that's like my own thing. But let's say you're playing Zarya, maybe your your right bumper is passed out of shield, and your left bumper is through um to uh, maybe pick up a target. Yeah, she's supposed to be really strong. Maybe she can lift an Omnic and throw them, you know? So, like, even though we're both playing Zarya, we both have two different abilities entirely. I just want to know how that all works in the game. Or if it's just like, oh, no, you have all six abilities. Um, bada bing, bada boom. I really want to know how they're going to customize their um, characters. Because, like, in Avengers, it's more RPG. You can really pick what abilities you want to make your Iron Man your Iron Man. Or your Black Widow, your Black Widow. They really want to know how they're gonna do it. I think I think they're gonna go that route. <clears throat> Which one? Like the like what they'll be doing with Avengers, or like most games, they'll be doing it so that you can actually make the character your way. Oh, and another thing, another thing about that is that I I hope that they won't become lazy in this aspect. I would be really cool with the new abilities that they give them new like animations not animations in terms of like the ability itself like we know that reinhardt his slam can go 100 uh, 360 degrees make and freeze multiple people in terms of like for example sombra's hack if they gave her a new hack ability will they have her hand would they give her hand a new animation that would be really really nice so that it really does stand out a little bit more well okay by hack the only way that would work is if she was hacking to me differently yeah like like, it's like it, but it doesn't have to be a hack, hack. i just wonder what would the anime i feel like the animation would have to reflect what she's doing right no yeah 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 i'm saying like for the new abilities because like um because it's a first person game and you see the person's hands and their guns a lot like will they be animating that to reflect whatever new ability comes along yeah i would assume um uh, I can't really go into Sombra, but like if we go back to me, you know, we, we know about the ability where she's supposed to turn into that giant snowball and run around. I'm assuming we'd see an actual snowball like appear as she's like running around. I, I, that's a new animation. I'm assuming you'd see, kind of like Wrecking Ball. Oh, yeah. It's a Wrecking Ball to make sense, you know? Um, no, sure, sure. But I'm talking, but I'm, but besides abilities like that, because you know, like for example, um, in uh, Project A, for example. Have you seen the Project A trailer? No, I don't think so. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, who can I make a sample for? Just just that aspect. Like, okay, so let's say... Like you said but with Zarya... Like, change it to change it fake because it's Overwatch 2? Or change it to reflect that ability? Like, you just want to change a Sombra's hack animation just because no. it's Overwatch 2? No, for the new abilities. Oh yeah, of course. Why wouldn't they? I wouldn't assume she would throw an EMP grenade. No, but the thing is, is like so far they haven't like we don't know how far the new abilities will go because so far we only know it's like stuff that they already do. Like for example, Lucio's boop. Instead of booping one person far away, he boops people into a wall. That's not like new in terms of like if he had a different um, like let's say his drop the beat. If they give him, like, instead of drop the beat, he has, like, a, a force push where he hits this thing on the ground, his uh, his weapon on the ground, will they animate that differently where he, like, spins and... like Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I like, understand. from the first-person view, like, you know, he puts his hand, the weapon, down to the floor. Would they change that, like, animations? Yeah, if move? he's doing a similar move, but it's a yeah. different ability, will they right. change? Okay, yeah. okay. Or just for new abilities in general, like um, May throwing snowball to do the to the snow globe blizzard storm for another ability, whatever. We're like, will they have new animations? Because Overwatch, when it came out, it was highly praised for the personality that they were able to put in the characters, even when they're idle. So, will they 
continue that or will they just reuse and keep everything external from the abilities outside and not actually re give them new animations? I would assume they'd give them new animations. Like, Blizzard isn't lazy on that front, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, you're calling them lazy now? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> yes, I'm calling them lazy. What is that noise? If you don't know the meme, you don't know the meme. I don't know the meme. <laughs> Forget it. It's it's tea. Tea. Sips tea. Moving on. Okay, so Jeff said that there's going to be Borderlands type uh, loot, uh, loot boxes around because remember when we were watching um they were to pick up those healing pads and grenades yeah oh that was really interesting i i was excited to see how um you can really affect your team with those uh, different uh, abilities like i saw one where well i didn't see it. i saw someone was talking about it but one where you could put up i think a barrier of sorts like when you're trying to resurrect your team uh, and you don't have like your heal as far away, you can put up a barrier. I really liked it. I like how they're giving you that uh, little box, storage box, so you can get extra um, armor or just something to help you in, in battle. I said from your regular kid that you have for that character. I do like it. And I feel like that will make it more complex. And allegedly, there's secret ones hidden off in the, on the map. Yeah. Kind of, um, so like there's ones where if you go on a different route and you like really look for it, you can find secret um secret uh consumables that will, are even better. And that is really fun. And they'll be like, oh wow, we have to go this way so we can use that thing to get that boss. I like that quite a bit. I were they like consumables? That. I thought like because they get. I mean, technically it's a consumable. Like using yeah. a grenade is a consumable. Oh yeah, I think I, yeah, I think they yeah they're consumables. Yeah. So they said you would have to like learn where they are before yeah. you fight certain bosses and stuff like that because they can really help out. So I guess yeah, they're they are consumers. So it looks like as of right now there is going to be four new maps to be introduced. With um, they've announced four new maps. The four new maps is definitely introduced is Toronto, Gothenburg, Monte Carlo, and I guess an updated map for Rio de Janeiro. So that's going to be four new maps for sure, um, coming to both Overwatch One and Two. Uh, again, we saw more of the push game mode. I'm really excited to see that in action. I mean, we saw it in action, but they really play myself because I'm more of a player than a watcher. Never really interested in watching people play games, but I'm excited to play myself to see how dynamic it truly is. Uh, what else do we have here? Of course, it, it looks like the updated engine or the updated UI and like graphics is going to both Overwatch 1 and 2. It won't just be on 2. I don't think it'll be on both. Overwatch One is getting the new HUD and stuff, but they're not going to get the updated, the updated graphics. I don't see why it couldn't. It's an update. It's like when, um, when the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro came out, and there was like 60 games. They just updated the game to have like a better graphics. You know? <laughs> it just, it just keeps furthering on. It just keeps furthering on. The question is, is if like, why did you guys make Overwatch Two if like? Because some people don't want to play PvE. Like, I just don't know uh, how else to say that. They don't want to play PvE. It's, it's not anything different. If you don't want to play PvE, then don't... Why then... would you buy a new one? Why, hmm? would you buy, why would you buy another game? You, you don't. Play... You just okay. you just stay with Overwatch. And then those of the people who wanted to play PvE would move on to PvE. They'll buy it and play the PvE. And they'll have Overwatch with the story and PvP. Okay, exactly. They did, but now they're selling on another. No, they did it. They made a whole other game that you have to like. It's it's. You don't have to buy Overwatch Two if you don't want it. No, you don't have to. But it's the same thing. Like they could have just made it a window. It's a, it's locked away, and that's what they said that they're gonna be doing later on. They're going to fuse Over Overwatch and Overwatch Two. And if you didn't purchase Overwatch Two, it's it's locked off. Why didn't you just do that from the start? Overwatch 2, so everyone knows it's the number 2, so they can sell you for another $60, number 2. I don't think, I don't think, if, 
Whatever, whatever. Link to two is like brand new. It's, a, right? it's so stupid. Two, three, four, five things. Those are brand new. It's That's stupid. It's confusing. Like I feel like you're the only person confused by it. I'm not. You are. I am not. I've, I've talked. No to, one I've is talked confused to, about this on Reddit. Huh? Nobody on Reddit is confused about this. I'm, I've been on Reddit nonstop. No one's complaining. But why didn't they just do it like that? It's not that complicated. I know why they did it, but it's like, I, like I understand why. I'm just saying it's just so strange. Yeah. Going through all this, and then you're gonna fuse the two games together. What? <laughs> you could have just done that from the start. Overwatch 2, dude. You need the money. Sixty dollars. Yeah, Blizzard is a Activision. Blizzard, Blizzard is a poor indie developer. Blah blah blah. Blizzard is Activision. You gotta, you gotta remember that. Anyway, um, I do, um, as far as features that I do like that's coming, I don't know if I like it, it makes sense, but it, it's weird, and it's another weird one, the, um, where you can go into the training room or play a game of deathmatch. Oh, yeah, I do like that quite a bit. It, it is, it's nice, but, you know, it's like, I just feel like if you're playing a game of deathmatch, and then you just get, like... I just, I, all I see is me like fighting people and getting into that rhythm of fighting in deathmatch. And then next thing you know, people are just popping away. Pop, 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 pop. And then you're just like sitting there waiting for your turn. Or like, will more people pop in that are in queue? And it's it's weird. It's, I want to see, yeah, more people will pop in and play. But also, the same thing has happened. Um, that's how what, uh, what's it called? How, uh, Skirmishes now. When you're waiting for a game, you're just playing now, running around, and then people pop in and out. Well, yeah, that's a skirmish, but yeah, you're just sitting, or you you could be friendly and everything. But they they said they're doing this because of um, the longer queue times, and then you have streamers that are sitting there for a long time, not doing anything, and they end up playing other games while they're waiting for their game in Overwatch to start. So now they could stay in Overwatch and do something, but. Like, I, I understand the training, the training room, sure. Um, I hope they make the training room more dynamic. I, I want to go yeah, training think, with your friends, you know? Yeah, you're going to go, you're gonna, I think, I think this is how, how it's going to work. Another, another question is, I have is that Blizzard has not really done a good job with their AI. Their, uh... Well, yeah, well, that was on the previous little nonsense, like... No, like, I know, I know, like... Just from watching the gameplay that was at BlizzCon, it looks like it's the same. Um, they did have a couple of new bosses, like uh, those big tanky looking things that were pretty different. But a lot of problems that games like this have is that it's not really intelligent AI. It's mostly just hack and slash beat em up games, kind of. Um, I'm just wondering, like, will the... AI be intelligent, you know, like, will, will they hide, will they flank you, will they, like, you know, block or heal each other, you know, like, instead of just being out in the open, like, shoot me, shoot me, type of thing, because I, I know... Think, I think they'll, they'll have um, the mechanics to do some of it, I don't know how smart they'll fully be, like, even in the archive missions now, there are the AI that block each other, you know, there's that one that, that shields them. Um, I'm assuming they'll have a healing one. I don't know if they'll have one that flanks. I don't know if they'll hide as well. And also, um, I mean, I would like that stuff to them to be smart. But I just want to put a little uh, little shade out there. You complain about Destiny doing exactly that when the enemies start running away and hiding. You're like, stop running away! Stop hiding! Because it's not. It's Ew. not even. It's not even Ew. intelligent. It's not even an intelligent way of running away from the player. It's like. I'm going, it's like you're shooting them, and then they just decide, I don't want to be here anymore, I'm backing out. It's not even like a, they don't roll, like in, um, in, um, um, sheesh, um, in, the, in the division, in the division two, when enemies get away from you, they, they dodge roll, they get on the floor, they crawl, they jump away, it's actually like intelligent AI, like, especially in their animations, and Destiny, they just back up, and it's like, okay. Let me kill you. Exactly. <laughs> Stay here and let me kill you because you're stupid. And then th another thing about it is that, um, now that you brought up Destiny, 
because uh, Overwatch has the same issue, the auto locking. I know we're getting like a little bit more technical, but it's what yeah. I want to talk about. But the auto locking is a huge, huge annoyance. Like, I know they're AI, yeah. but because like in Destiny, when especially with enemies with splash damage, they don't—they're not even shooting at you. They shoot like where your f- foot could be appearing in that area, and you can't go anywhere because there's three other ones shooting in these in the exact same spot, and you end up dying because BS, I guess. Um, I'm just, I just really, I just really want it to, because if it's going to be replayable, I don't want the combat to get stale. If they're intelligent, that'll really help with the highly repayable value that they're claiming. Yeah, well, I, we, I don't know how, um, I'll probably watch the, the video that have been out again to see how smart they really are, but I don't know, I'm not expecting anything crazy from this. Yeah, I'm not expecting anything crazy either, but just just enough, just enough. Um, alrighty, so I guess now we can talk about the supposed heroes that could be coming with the game. Okay, um, I actually was watching your stream last night, and your friend was talking about them. From my understanding, they're still gonna be releasing new characters for Overwatch before Overwatch Two comes out. Like, there should be a new character to come out. Yeah. In the next month or two, you know, like that right. release schedule will still stay the same. And so I don't, I didn't assume that. Oh, since they announced Overwatch Two and I saw Jaren, again with Overwatch Two, I didn't assume that they're just done updating Overwatch One. Like they're still, they're still gonna update Overwatch One until Overwatch Two comes out, and after that. So that's good. So that's another thing. Like, I really want to know how many characters Overwatch Two is gonna launch with. Like. If there's still, right now there's what, 31 characters in the game, 32? Mm. And there's still, let's say there's about two to three characters to release before Overwatch 2 comes out. Are they gonna have all of those people in? I don't know, yeah. I'm not interested. Yeah. Uh, I'll be shocked. Also like, so I think the game, Overwatch 2, um, for people that don't know me, I've been saying for the longest time, I like to Overwatch Classic is a fr- um, free for the most part. Like you buy the game and they update the game with seasonal events and yeah. all the maps and characters are free. But I've also said uh, the waiting game when it comes to Overwatch is kind of boring. I would really, and I don't like yeah. changing the meta up a little bit. You know, like they change, they update, uh, like they'll do a drastic overhaul for a character maybe once every two months. You know, and then they'll have the one character come out every three months, and you know, do the map that comes out once a month or whatever. Um, I would, I've always been a, uh, like, I would have always liked it, you know, if they just really shook up the metal. One of my favorite parts about Overwatch One is when it came out, nobody knew what character did what or how it worked. Remember when Overwatch One started, and every time Hanzo altered, everybody would die because they'd be looking at the dragons. That's amazing. <laughs> Everybody, like, you knew that was the ultimate. You knew that was going to kill you, but nobody got out of the way, right? Like, that was just the norm. Everybody just stood in hot on the vault, right? Uh-huh. So, like, I like the erraticness that a quick play brings along and that us not knowing how the meta changed. So, I've always been saying, hey, you know what? Instead of the free model, I have no problem paying 15 bucks and they have dropped three characters at once and, like, two new maps. Like, imagine Sombra, Auto, and Arisa all released at the exact same time with, like, two brand new maps. And you're like, whoa, what is all this? And the meta really changes. When they add one new character, the meta's change for about maybe two to three weeks, and then we figure it out, you know? Like, then it goes back into this new mold. Whereas, if they were to, like, really add all these new characters at once, it'd be a huge change, which is what I'm excited they're going to do for Overwatch 2. Um, so let's say at least three new characters come out. I'm assuming Sword Drain is one for sure launch. Maybe Echo. You know, there's talks that she, I've heard stuff that maybe she could be an NPC, um, for, at least for a while. And they add one new other character, another healer or something. Uh, I would, I would really prefer that. I think that'd be great to really change the dynamic. And I hope they're much better at a much stronger release schedule when it comes to characters. Because in a PvE game mode, it's different. Like, there's no need in a PvE game mode that you release a character once every three months. There's no need for that. They you know? kept talking about, since, like, 
the beginning of this year, I think, they kept talking, oh, we're going to increase our timetable, we're going to increase our timetable, and it didn't really happen. Yeah. I don't know, well, maybe if they really four character of the year, that'd be a bit better, but I don't know, it's just... I mean, that's what he said, he said that they will be, that Overwatch 2 will be coming out with quite a few characters, so... I mean, it, it, technically that's true, because, um... As of right now, there's 31 characters, 32 characters in the game. That's a lot of people. You know, two yeah. doubles a month. That is a lot of that's not even with any of the new characters. And plus, there's still gonna be at least two to three new at least three new characters to that haven't been released before Watch 2 even comes out. You know? Um, hey, my guess that, that the characters are going to be is let me think. Um and this is between Overwatch 2 and 1, since Overwatch 1 is still going to get a new character. It's going to be, my guesses are Sojourn, Echo. For Overwatch uh, 2, you're saying those characters come out with Overwatch 2? Not no, in, in, in between. I don't know, I, thought, I think Sojourn will be wait for Overwatch 2. Way before? No, she's going to be the main character of Overwatch 2. She's definitely no, but yeah, I think she'll character. be launched on Overwatch 2, like we won't play her yeah. until she comes out. Yeah. Yeah, so the characters they're saying are for when Overwatch 2 comes out. Sure. Not before they come out. Yeah. Soldier and Echo, that uh, that dude that was on uh, Baptiste's team, that big guy. I forgot his name. Um, and Junker Queen. All right. I think um, one character, Soldier and Echo for sure. I think they'll add that, not Maximilian, but that other giant Omnic we saw at the end of the last archive mission. Oh, they're going with the dreads. Yeah, they're going with the dreads, and they had like a little hoodie, and they're talking to Doomfist. I think he'll be in it. They could release him before Watch 2 comes out, but I think he'll be the way. Mm -hmm. They can have a compelling character. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Junker Queen wouldn't be a bad idea for sure. I also wouldn't mind another animal. There's only two animals right now. Or... I am over it. No more animals, please. I'm sending Hammond. Oh my god, I'm over Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so play. over that freaking ball. <laughs> and yeah, I want to pick an animal. Maybe uh the chimpanzee we always wanted. <laughs> yeah, chimpanzee. But I'm trying to think of like what would be a four a good four legged animal. Maybe like a fox. four legged. Yeah. Well, what would be a good four legged animal to bring? A out? bear. A, oh, a bear. That'd be dope. Yeah, I'd bring a bear in. Let's do it. So, mm -hmm. we both assumed that the uh, game was going to come out 2020 because they had the first mission playable. It's all the same characters from Overwatch 1, yada, yada, yada. But uh, there's some rumblings of it coming out in 2021, which I personally don't think it's a big deal. I mean, I would like to 2020 to play as soon as possible. But if it comes out 2021, I kind of have a fear that this might not be in a current gen game. It could be a next gen game. Only because when Overwatch came out, it came out when on um, PS3 and PS4 games are still being made. You know, Overwatch came out what three, four years ago, and PS3 games are still being made, you know? And they are like, you know, this is only a PS4 game. Or it's only an Xbox One game. I just say they won't do the same for PS5 and Xbox Scarlet or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's been said that they're looking at summer 2020. Another reason is that that they won't do 2021 is because they've talked so much about not splitting the player base experience and all that stuff and all these plans they have to fuse the games together. Having it on a separate console that the that the consumer has to also buy is not a good look especially after everything they said and which will also further lead to why making why did you make overwatch 2 separate from overwatch yeah, so i don't to, oh yeah i don't think that's good. I, don't, I didn't think of it like that yeah. I so i don't think it's gonna be ps5 i think it will be ps5 for sure but no yeah i think it'll, it'll be ps5 ready yeah, I just want to be PS5 exclusive. PS5 one. or Xbox Scarlet, whatever the hell. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's my biggest uh, concern because I'm I'm for summer 2020. Like, it should come out June 2020. That's yeah. a perfect window for it. And let me get in it. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. That's my biggest thing. And all, you know, 
by if it comes out June 2020, that's only like two or three months before PS4, I mean PS5 and Xbox Scarlet will be coming out. Mm-hmm. You know, so they could wait. They could push it back till January 2021. Then I don't know. I'm really when you, we're on, we're on the border of current gen and next gen gaming right now. We're really in the border. So it's up in the air for me still. It is really up in the air. I'm I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this next summer. You're also like, pretty sure that uh Overwatch 2 wouldn't have competitive. Well I'm sorry Blizzard is stupid. Look at you. Okay. Look at I'm you. sorry Blizzard is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everything really. I think we got one over everything there. Yep. All right, guys, so the end of this episode for Overwatch 2. Uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. And guys, always remember, get your game set up. Honey, I'm a big